<laughs> Makeup is set. <laughs> Eyebrows on flick. <laughs> Eyebrows kuko on flick na manisha ngani ni wewe. Sijui. Ziko tu poa. Kama zimechorwa vizuri. My name is Matrid Nyaga. I am a producer, a director, uh, an actor. Today I'm in front of the camera. And I am the president of Dada Trust, um, which runs Udada International Women's Film Festival, which is just three days to go, guys. And this is the fifth edition, so we are so glad that we are turning five. Yes. Turning five months? Five yes. years, sorry. Five years. Oh, Udada Film uh, Festival has gone for five years. Yes, yes. This is the fifth year. How did you start film? Um, I started film at home. <laughs> okay, by watching? By watching, by... Uh, my parents were very supportive. And my parents... Um, I come from a very artistic family. My dad was a DJ back back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, me back then, but then to realize Sisi, Mimi, see mm -hmm. your design, Mimi na penda tell stories, visually, I like to dance and stuff like that. So um, I started, I started film in 2000 and wow, I graduated KU in 2012. So back, four years back is what? Mm. Um, 2008? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. This is age telling. <laughs> <laughs> this is age telling, but... Uh, 2008, um, I joined Kenyatta University. I was actually the first student. I was like, I'm guinea pigs. I was like, I'm your degree course in KU. In KU, yeah, yes, film. Yeah, yeah, film. Okay. I'd actually gone there to register for a law course. Course yeah. law. But then I went there, I noticed board Nika on a film. And then I was like, it's a calling. I'm going to do film. Because initially, even my parents knew that I always loved the arts. So dance and music and film. So, um, and I'd been called to Edora to go and study law there. But then before joining campus, I was um, Kenya National Theatre. Mm -hmm. It was Kenyan National Institute of Performing Arts. Performing Kinaipa. Arts, yeah. yeah. And I joined, I was do certificate and diploma course. Apo. Yeah, performing arts. So I was already like really, you know, integrated into the arts. So I was like, hey, what is As in, in my mind, I was just like, hey, what one acting? As in, will I really get opportunities there? Yeah. So I sat my parents down and I told them, I really want to pursue um, theater film. and I want to pursue film. And they said, okay, fine. But then still go around, angalia law, and then we'll figure it out. But then now when I went to KU, I saw film and then I, I registered. Um, yeah. How has it been for you in the film industry? Wow, hey, it has been uh, quite a very interesting journey with huh? its ups and downs. Uh, but so far I thank God because I would confidently say that I kind of knew where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do. So I chose my path. As in, I was not like trying at the age to a cinema, maybe I was an actor, maybe I was do sound, maybe I was an actor. I started um, as an extra in Makutano Junction. Ah. Back in the days, yes. What? How, how was it for you? First wah, time on set? Wah, 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 wah. First time on set. And then now I was in KU, I was a fresher in KU. So, um, in KU, I was a theory. So, I was opportunities za uh, practicals. Mm -hmm. So, when I was in KU, I was a fresher in KU. So, when I was in KU, um, come to kota au tunabebwa tunaenda <laughs> kuna job ngoza job gani ati makutano junction and i used to really la love the program so nika sema okay sawa nda come so i showed up who's your favorite character in makutano oh my god like, i'm um ai 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 aki siezi kumbuka jina snake okay snake yeah um Thanks, eh, Snake. Ni. Yeah, how you call? <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's my friend. I'll I know. Send him this a... one. I'll no, send I him know. This one. I know. I'm insisting. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm insisting that you say Awezi. <laughs> <laughs> so I just send him this part and tell him, Snake, I will call. Awezi. <laughs> uh, like in, I believe in you, Snake. So, mm. <laughs> uh, so a uh, producer. How did this come out? Um, and being a woman in the industry, people say it's rough. Is it rough being a woman in the industry? Yes. And I'm going to speak for myself because mm -hmm. of um, I draw from my experiences. Yeah. Collectively. Yeah. So for me, starting as a woman in the industry, honestly, it was crazy. And um, being a young woman, 
back then. But I mean, young, by the way. <laughs> but um, as I said before, Nilianza ka extra. So corset, I say one of cheeky, una pita pita uko, nyuma una pita nini nini, and then eventually I was I, I was able to nili pata by the lines. Una kumbuka uh, regionary, mm. nili pewa lines nika kuwa pia wake kwa story kwa makutano mm. so nikaingia kwa circle ya katikati sasa the elite yeah the kind of <laughs> tulitoka extra sasa tukapanda kidogo siamini ulikuwa na ina asset moja it's an abomination <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay like i know someone someone wants to put you down but i will not accept um so back in the day people used to say women you, you're only you're kind of sexualized you know you have to be the sexy woman behind a man you know uh, um in, in the story or as a character or to see those fanya makeup see those fanya wardrobe you know as in ilikuwa hard unasikia ti dem anafanya camera dem anafanya um sound being a woman in the industry is not really easy and then neither is it too hard because i believe anything is possible as in if you want to achieve whatever you want to achieve mm -hmm. it's possible to find a way there are, there are many ways to kill a rat mm -hmm. and there are many also right and proper ways to kill a rat so i would say it's it's hard and then again tell us the hard part um i'll speak from my experience mm -hmm. yeah um hashtag me too movement yeah <laughs> <laughs> um when i was in second year in ku tulikuwa na strike na I used to write a lot in my first year nilikuwa naandika ngama scripts nini and then I used to use my parents ndio tulikuwa tunafanya ngama read through and then sasa ndio unaweza sema zilikuwa read through because by then tulikuwa tunaambia tuacha to some tujue history inaendaje kuna inaendaje kuna inaendaje and my parents were very very supportive um so nilikuwa na series nilikuwa nimeandika so tume strike and then sasa tujue tunarudi chuo when niko na experience ya extra makutano na nini so nika decide mimi nda do movie So um so ka decide to do movie na experience ya extra extra na whatever I was learning okay. na intuitions like cuz I really what the, I, I wanted well. yeah I wanted okay. the, that story was very personal to me and I wanted to tell the story and I knew how I wanted to tell it okay but for sure I really didn't care about CG crossing the lines the whole CG camera gani I didn't know anything you know as in I knew but then I was not very like deep into the technical bits and, and yeah. stuff yeah so um I got a team Um uncle yangu akasema ata ni sponsor and then I could decide eh, to budget ilikuwa juu nikaenda tukai tukai teremsha teremsha mm -hmm. and then nilikuwa nimeambiwa na wasi wenyewe walikuwa kwa industry that lazima nilipwa si ulipwa so nikajua sasa ndio nataka kunye kwa industry so hakuna vile nitaenda kwa industry alafu nikose kulipa wasi so wasi wali sign contracts you know alafu nilikuwa nime nilikuwa na work na wasi walikuwa makutano akina Bernadette as in our actors sasa au au so nilikuwa na walipa but then magwiji magwiji wenyewe but then walikuwa nasema you're young and ambitious and we really want to support you but anyway this is how we make our money so you'll still pay us so but i didn't have like a big budget to pay them i, I couldn't get to the rate of makutano junction so i decided to do a pilot um fast forward First the pilot is the first episode ya kuonyesha client ya just kwenyesha. in case mtu anashindwa eh, tena umetoka kwa filmmaker tena so umekuwa pilot, pilot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so um tulikuwa tuna, nilikuwa sana meet na the actors mm -hmm. and the team to sign contracts mm -hmm. and to the job the next day that day nimeenda kwa ofisi yangu yangu akaniambia ame change mind hata ni support nilianza kulia like town nilianza town nilikuwa tu nalia nikafikia mamangu simu nikamwambia mi nitaka nitazima simu nda disappear kani lakini wewe ulikuwa unasema sijui utaki kuingiaje kwa industry nini nini ni nini unataka because mi could be pilot my parents were paying my school fees so hii kwa ni hii kwa ni assignment ya chuo mm ilikuwa ni biashara yangu ilikuwa ni chocha eh ilikuwa ni chocha <laughs> eh na hiyo movie ilitwa twist of fate mm -hmm. it's there Nikona you did it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I saw Leona. I saw your IMDb new research. Lakini sasa hivi sisi ita watu tuone hiyo movie. Hata mimi mwenyewe nashangaanga. Who was this? So did it go? Um I would say try, making that movie is why I'm sitting here today. Mm -hmm. The challenges that I experienced, the processes How that I went How did you pay through. these people finally? Um, Do you mean nae nikisha sign contract yako inabidi tu? Ah, mother can niambia wewe unataka how much kwanza katumai mpesa? Nikaenda nika print vitu, tau, tulikuwa na Bernadette Otieno. Atieno, sorry. Um 
tukakam uh, national theater so watu walikuwa na ningoja national theater so nikafika national theater tuka sign hata stories then kawa tu national ah wasi wali wako tu sofet wanajua because tulikam tuka sign na siku na do hata by then ningefungwa production house inaitwa by faith production uh, inge work inge work hiyo <laughs> <laughs> because everything was by faith i would not lie to you mm-hmm. so nikamaliza madaka akaniambia wake come job my parents ni business people so nikaenda kwa madhe nikamwambia hivi ndio hivi budget ile kwa pesa ngapi nini of course hatuwezi get loan kwa bank sasa hiyo shoot ni kesho nimeambia wasi kesho mnachukuliwa wapi butter Bata hilton, hilton 650 butter hilton kawaida. kawaida by the if you are a kenyan and you want to see celebrities and butter hilton <laughs> asubuhi hilton kila siku asubuhi by 6:15 between 6 and 6 utaona wasi wote hapo unaweza kupiga selfies hapo <laughs> unasema kenya tuna maselebra hapo ndio wana kuanga um, so madhe ali ni get ya do kwa hizi chama nilikuwa na percentage nini hiyo alafu sasa wasio industry walikuwa wameniambia wewe fanya pilot then peleka kwa station wanachukuanga so the same hiyo the same thing ndo niliambia nikamwambia wasio hivi ndio nikamwambia wa mama nikamwambia my parents hivi ndio kuna indanga so ilikuwa ina kanyewe ni ukoshua kuna do ukoshua kabisa ina inaenda na yenyewe story ilikuwa poa so and then tukaenda kwa stage mama wangu akaniambia ni watu wangapi nikamwambia 14 sita <laughs> madha kana kaongelesha dereva fulani hapo <laughs> my parents were the executive producers so, so they came f- yeah. w- with you on set on set oh, yeah it's... all the way mama wangu atani alikuwa na ducatering wakaenda oh. githurai wakabai machakula ni ni sana kuna wasi wa makutano ni kuna different people hata wasi wenye tulikuwa nao class akina like Steve Wekesa Andy Manga Shalom um, so walikuwa as in we were, we were learning now zip dr zipi your course mm. alinsaidia sana uh, ni alikuwa ad <laughs> <coughs> Dr. Zipi she has uh, nini this film festival hey, like, uh, Lake Pan African Pan African Lake, Lake International Lips. Film Festival Yes, yes. Lips <laughs> Yeah Lips <laughs> <laughs> so it's in Nakuru by the it's coming in Nakuru, soon coming soon in November after mm. Udada mm-hmm. So um see to shoot so day one, mean kaenda nikachukua wase Any god alikuwa na mimi every step of the way Alafu nilikuwa nimeambiwa wase ulipwa padi Miss kwa jeshi ya continuity at Isai hapa kikam then kesho hadi Isai data kam <laughs> na nilishamli nilishamlipa so tuko namaliza tukimaliza it's a rap wasi wanaenda pale madeni accountant hivyo <laughs> so sign hapa ulikuwa contract ilikuwa inasema ni how much unalipwa mm. but the good thing is i paid people i paid people did someone miss coming on set no everyone it everyone went well came. Yani everyone came people were so excited on set mimi sasa mimi nilikonda tu miss kwa nakula nilikuwa na stress because set nilienda nika get those are three days shoot ilikuwa three days okay akina you... nameless wale tupatia location Mombasa road for free oxygen media your time i think if i uh, remember correctly uh, did you finally manage to pay people to pay the debt okay, of course you paid yeah, people yeah uh-huh. I, i two days tulikuwa na doya two days the next day wasema me come set madam ananiambia sijui ka tutapata doya leo but ananiambia we direct we fanya zile vitu unafanya wacha nitaenda ku Eh wacha tutuangalie. Wacha tutuangalie wakasao tunafadhi kuna mali walipeana kata title deed nini nini tukaget to get to do. So nikalipa wasi na tukamaliza sasa editing. Ile edit wana msemu mwingine sijui Uganda. Sijui. Nilikuwa nimetafutiwa. So tumekaa na yeye. Eh mimi nilikuwa namuamini. So sijui sijui story za editing but mimi najua nataka hii story anze hapa. Nataka huo msee after hapa nataka hii hivyo 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 hivyo. So it was I mean like twist of it was a learning tool for for me. I would say that. And the fact that my uncle refused to give me the money because he was rich, he's rich. Mm. And I thank God. I actually thank God and I usually tell him though I tujawe onana but sisi tu mana masalamu cuz aunt yangu si uongea nini. Nilimwambia I thank God that alifanya hivyo alifanya because kama angenipatia maybe singekuwa hapa. Singekuwa more aggressive vile ni. And and maybe ungeona ah it's normal kwa video. Kwa video unapatiwa na nini. So nikamaliza nika edit. Eh eh. Tukakuwa tuko na movie. Sasa si nikwenda KBC. Ah uh, zile za zenye zilikuwa kitabu mm. KBC, KTN, NTV na Mnet. Nilipeleka di Mnet. Hiyo <laughs> pilot yangu. Lakini <laughs> ni poa ndoto ni fit. <laughs> eh. So ni knock knock knock. Sasa hiyo ndio hashtag me too movement hapo ndio ilianza. So unaenda msema nakwambia scratch my back I scratch yours. Ama tie na jomsi fulani anaweza itikia hii nini but ni aje eh si to do hivyo. So mimi nakumbuka nilikuwa na knock every the doors I knocked that was the story and it was really really hurting and traumatizing because i can any the struggles in lilikuwa nimepitia kushuti movie sana nimemaliza niko na product and then remember niko na deni so 
you really I, need it, it to be picked I up. I need yeah, I need it to be picked up then I need to sort out my parents so that they can sort out where they got the money from. So it was really at an akumbuka time flani my my parents were like when labda ni venye at is really mikona jeans nini mimi wase wani take seriously wakani buy ama suit. Zakuza pila. By the way <laughs> a movie about my life story is coming out next year. Dark tea really. movie. Eh? It's ni pepper. Ni cast tu ata kabla uandike. Weka tu ata part tu ya Watchman. Ni kumka Kenya International Film Festival. So yeah. nika apply. Nika tuma movie yangu huko ikachukuliwa. Then nika shed ika kwa scheduled kuonyeshwa na uh, to be screened at Alliance. Sasa tukaka hivi na shanga okay so niko na deni lazima ilipwe. Si niko na niko na niko na place ya ku screen. Si niite wase ni launch movie hapa alafu ni use ni use DVDs. Mimi huyo River Road, mimi huyo 500 copies. Tukatengeneza I used to hook my film. Ni patie copy. Ah sasa hivi na copy. I'd want to watch. Niko na soft copy. And I'd laugh at you as well so. Uh, it's okay. It comes uh, one day, a, one time. It comes with <laughs> <in> a... <laughs> one time. By the way uh, give me a copy I'd want to watch okay. it. Okay. Sawa, sawa. <coughs> so then you're hawking the film? Yeah, so um national I mean uh, Alliance movie ka kam, family ka kam, mabeshte ka kam, so nikaanza kuuza. So eventually sana niliendelea kuuza kuuza hivyo, as in tukiendeleanga. Mm-hmm. Um bado niko KU and then sasa tena um so sasa hizi nilikuwa na feel a bit better even with the challenges nilikuwa nimepitia. Ati na kaivi kwa table, msee amekuwa inda sisi jo many years lakini like, msamee I, I I produced and directed and wrote my I, a film I've, I've already made and I'm trying to sell it na nini. Nilikuwa nimeenda di kwa duty one stop then I was a, I was young then and a bit naive. So nilikuwa na imagine eh ata make do ngapi as much as nilikuwa nirudishe do zangu mm. kama distributor. Like nilikuwa nime hiyo movie ili ni peleka places I didn't know that I would get there and it taught me lessons that I still apply up to date did you recover your money I nearly lipa but sasa nili as in from the film did you recover what you spent or no. did you get other sources to pay the other, debt I had to get other I had to get other sources to pay the debt what? I had to get other sources to pay the debt yeah mm. so um yeah but again my parents never shunned me away they mm. they were very very supportive and the other things i used to do i used to direct dances nilikuwa very involved kwa drama festival mwana mama pepe tanga mwana mama pepe tanga na zile za kikuyu za eh those things ni fun by the way ni fun ni fun nilikuwa na saidia saidia ma plays hapa na pale so udada udada what is udada udada ni sisterhood why udada why udada so in my see udada ya sisterhood here yeah, ah, for the festival oh. see udada ni sister okay eh, so unajua <laughs> wazungu wakina me so you run what udada what is udada, udada. so my udada, udada is sisterhood is like oh nice so you and your sisters like me eh <laughs> <laughs> udada so udada nayo um idea ya udada ilianza nikiwa thadia nilikuwa nafanya yani umeumia film second year au skima neno bado ah, tadia umeanza kitu kingine mimi nasemanga mtu alizi kuja kuniambia sina passion because passion demi <laughs> nifikisha mali nimefika saa hii na exposure na exposure ah, eh, exposure to the kula ulilipwa eh, i used to like i used to like uh, najua my parents are going to see this but eh, i used to kind of lie to them unalipwa hii makutano unaenda because thika road tulikuwa naishi kwa west so thika road hiyo imetengenezwa iko super highway so kwa toka kwa for 30 na lazima ni kwe Karen sijui 7 tupikiwe hapa hapo ukia ukihata si unajua tulikuwa na shoot na huko ndani yeah. ukia tu utafiga route away to venye utajipeleka eh, venye, venye utajipeleka kama vile utafika hapo hiyo pepo inataka kuua kamera eh love so inakuwa vile uta venye wewe uta, 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 utajipeleka huko yeah. so kuna lipo so saba yote ilikuwa ni mimi ndio ilikuwa inaishia kwa barabara but nikikuja home na kaa ngumu hadi najifanya sasa saki kuitesha nini sasa hivi kuitisha pocket money at you mean ali but ilikuwa tricky ilikuwa tricky sana so anyway udada nilikuwa na do kuna unit tulikuwa tunafanya inaitwa women in cinema so mm-hmm. tukadu nika do a lot of research then nika realize eh, even kutoka kitambo the way women have been um, the way women are portrayed in the industry the way women have been neglected in the industry you know um, we are put in the peripherals unajua hakuna uh, timu na mke anaweza kuwa ni dop is it technical staff inakuwa 
you know kutoka kitambo a woman belongs in the kitchen or a woman belongs you know with the, with the kids then a man is the one who will go out there and do things like that so for me ni realize already with what nilikuwa nimepitia na si ati nikimaliza chuo nitaacha kwa woman ju bado nilikuwa nilikuwa sure bado nitakuwa kwa industry so none of that was going to change so i remember telling my classmates one day nikiwa 50 nitaanza a women's film festival I didn't know as in I didn't know what what I was saying to be honest. There's something I really need to understand because there's a friend of mine who's okay niki watu wanajua mabesti wangu wote so nikisema specifically Hata mimi nibesti yako. Eh so nikisema kitu alifanya watu watajua ni nini yeye udo exactly na watajua ni nani. But there is this thing of um, of at uh, women are neglected in the industry women are what fast 90% of Kenyan producers or are even women. exactly yeah they're women so why are we saying that they are neglected i believe uh, producers ni above the line employment atakama, atakama and crew ni below the line it's true. so mbona tunasema wana neglectiwa guys we need to stop this narrative no no but then no? i no? would like to call upon all these women producers i mean i run a festival but then i can't tell you that i have a list of 10 or 20 or 30 but i know that we are so many women producers in the in the country exactly. but i'd like us to to shikane as women we support each other now, the next time matilda kona cinema ama jena kona cinema ama nani kona cinema the women producers through udada tunaweza kusaidia ku ku fund ama ku fund yeah. yeah but then again you see now we can't all be all the women producers si kila mtu ako talented ku produce yes, so the, the 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 part of is it the idea eh, yeah the technical aspect but of, there's of no idea making. because i i know people ladies who are in grips up to date naweza kukupatia list i know ladies who are dops naweza kukupatia list i also know ladies list. who are dops you see but you see so, we're talking about five, five, five years ago six mm-hmm. years and again i said i draw from my experience okay so for me back then and then i was young so it's like mm. you know and then maybe i was young i didn't know all these other women out there still who are technical but people to, to 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 just try and maybe uh, talk for the men now here i i believe <laughs> in the boy child <laughs> so <laughs> we are pushing our agenda <laughs> in the industry i believe every job is wired in a certain way mjengo it's hard upate dem hapo though wako and hey, wako. i respect them so much but because of the masculinity needed so in film also unaona producing production manager nini it's more of multitasking brain work na kuweza ku a lot of stress which ladies are really good at at least the ladies i know in my life ukikuja kwa kwa tena dop it's a lot of hands on kubeba beba mavitu grips nini nifanya grips Unaona so it's Walter, it's, it's a bit <laughs> Oli, Oli. Hey, Oli. <laughs> it's, it's it's a bit of a man's thing somehow but so that's because I, I really society even really to fanya to kwe but yeah. then uko right I, I really wouldn't blame the men nini so no, I'm not but, blaming the men okay. I didn't blame well, anyone I, that's what I said I wouldn't Apo ni eh umenipata hapo niko na kugeuza niko na kugeuza but I am not blaming anyone, anyone. I'm just saying that is how the back even in the 1900s like that is how the society was you was, know yes. and now we're trying to see of course things have improved yeah. and then we are yet to you know to get, get where yeah, we are yet we to get where to. we want to get to but i'm happy that things have improved i'm happy that in kenya we have a lot of women producers but then mm. i'd like us to speak up and be heard okay tu wache kujiweka kwa hizi tukukunza hapa unakutana tu na mse kwa event unakutana na ngatu kwa event saye ah mambo uko pa uko pa hivyo una dulu ni ah i'm just producing it hivyo <laughs> and then atujui hizi vitu zina producewa zimeenda zimeenda wapi okay. so anyway fast forward uh, nilikuwa nimesema udada nitaanza nikiwa 50 years old nilianza way hata before nifike half of 50 yes that's when the the festival started alafu ile movie nilifanya ilifanya ni live kenya for the first time nikaenda Burkina Faso hii Fest Park Film Festival. Nilikuwa nimesponsorwa na Gote Institute for represent young upcoming directors. So mimi ndio mimi aka twist of fit kangu. Ndio sisi Fest Park. Kufika Fest Park na pata kulikuwa na wasi wametoka um, Ghana. We were two ladies and seven guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we met and people were doing Uganda whatever. So you just 
sharing and exchanging stories and I realize eh wasi wamefanya vitu alafu mimi niko na tu kwa twist of fate na mwana wa mama pepe tanga nini hizo unajua na hizo na hizo plays i remember tulikuwa tuna introduce nikioko uh, facebook mm -hmm. then I realize eh wasi wame do stuff wame do stuff na ni wa young nilipofikiwa nilisema mama producer director writer and i'm starting a women's film festival even the other day ilianza hapo again hapo. by faith <laughs> mm -hmm. So we were like, oh yeah, women's new. Alafu, it was the first women's film festival in Eastern Cent in Africa and Eastern Central Africa. Do you have more now? Yeah, we have a lot. Ah. Yeah, we Five have. Five years, unapata sponsorship or something. How do you manage? Eh, sijui kaini itakuwa ni episode 7. Niwaambie how to manage, how to uh, how to get funding. Eh, hey, you don't live here. What to do and what not Sir. to do. So this year, when is it happening? So Udada International. Women's Film Festival 2018 is happening from 11th of October to 20th of October. You're on Thursday. We're opening on Thursday. It's three days. Guys, now I didn't sleep. Like, did you come even your what one Kama we do karibu, because I'm cutting, you know, three days to go, <laughs> two days to go, you know, and... Um, Who's invited? Um, everyone is invited. Udada, we are inclusive, by the way. Ataka mm -hmm. ni udada, peer boy child wako included. Because we, we, we've, also, no, we've also received films done by men about portrayal of women. Like, so how, how ah, does a man so portray it women? It doesn't in, matter yeah. who does the film. It doesn't matter who it, does it, the, the content. The content is what matters. Exa exactly. Okay, that's clear. Because for me, I, I, I'd, I'd think everyone has to be a lady. No. In then the industry, say in the industry, we work together. Exactly. Usha Men and women said. work together. So for me, the idea of starting a women's film festival was not now to remove ourselves mm -hmm. as women and decide, sasa sisi, tunayenda direction yetu, even yo tunafanya. No, mm -hmm. we work with men in the industry. But then, how do we change? And uh, for me, I usually believe change starts. Ukita change vitu, anza na wei mwenyewe, personally. Change starts with me. So for me, I thought, let me create this platform. Um, not that I had the experience to do it, but let me create this platform and see how we can change the narrative, how we can have more women in the technical aspects of filmmaking, more producers, more, and also in the same time, how can we make money? What water? Yes. Or what water? When you want water, you make money in the industry. No, I'm going to what water in the film. I'm going to What water? I think I'm going to check you. What water? What water? You are the producer. It's an amazing film. Of course, it that. is. It was yeah. nominated for the Oscars. Yeah. How did you come to produce What Water? Bona wakunita. I'm kidding. Maybe we'll try to kuskia. Kuskia. Um, my connection with What Water, I would say. Conf I would gladly say it was because of Udada International Women's Film Festival. Because there was, um, there was this German lady, she had come to interview me. She came actually to our offices. She came interviewed me about Udada, because the festival was almost happening and no, we no, became no, no, friends. No, 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 no. Yeah, I hope kuna lunch. Production. Ooh, <laughs> 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 string budget. Mm, string budget. Tosha mtu apewe maji. Ukauka tu. But anyway, uh, uh, ni passion, exposure. Ex, na kulipa na exposure. Na lipo na exposure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, eh, so akan akaniandikia email, akaniambia kuna msi fulani mjama, uh, ni student, nini anataka ku ako interested kwa kufanya movie Kenya ya graduation. So, naweza wa introduce kwa email. So, mimi nikamwambia, okay, sawa to introduce, to introduce you, and then to come on So, come on, oh, madam, sing him, Jua, I'll enjoy you, Dada. So, for me, mm. what what I need to talk about now, Dada, like what I do. And game me, Dada, ni? And game me, Dada. Mimi, ni kileta film yangu. Mm -hmm. What do I get in return? I mean, what's the end game? Wow. So, um, for the festival, what when you done your festival, ni, exp ni event. Dada see event. It's an experience. Mm -hmm. Celebrating the achievement of the African women in the arts. Now, Udada is not about film, making pekeake. It's, mm -hmm. about, it's about music, dance, fashion, izozote, spoken word, all those things. When you submit your film to our festival, number one, uh, kuna, the jury sits down and they, watch, they get to watch these films. Na kuna competition. But the competition is only in African films. Because we receive films from France, from Spain, from different places in the world. But now, 
we wanted to have a competition in the African film so that to genuinely see Africans. Africans. Because um, last year Kenya won, the other year Ghana won, the other year si Kenya ilishinda in terms of the festivals zenye. Mm. Na kuna hii story ati, oh ni udada juu Kenya, lazima Kenyan film apana. Kama ulifanya sinema na ni mzuri, na judges wameona ni mzuri, whether ni ya Tanzania na ni mzuri, iyo ndi inashinda. Mm. Hakuna hile story ati, oh tuko Kenya, wacha turushie Kenya kamoja. Ati, eh, lakini Ghana watatuhepa next year, eh, wacha tuwapei mwaka. Hakuna, hakuna, because it's okay. give give credit where it's, it's due. due yeah. yeah so when you submit your film number one there's a platform people will get to see the movie because number one i believe we make movies so that people can get to see and you know yeah, um, appreciate appreciate our work sort of feel some type so of that way. we can be able to share stories our stories out there with other people and yeah. our experiences in the film yeah number two film yako kishinda i'm making a miniature special you know jury nini um of course kuna accolades zina come with that Mm -hmm. I'd like to make it clear today and say so far mali tumefika kama udada atupea nangi do atujaip atujaip ana do because for me nimekuwa kwa conversations when you watu sema oh you know udada doesn't give people money but why am i giving you money I'll only and, and this is now um because we we are we as i said we're turning five so now for the next five years we are working with different partners to see now if your film wins We'll give you a trophy, we'll give you a certificate, we'll put you, because um, um, we're also partnering with other film festivals around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, we'll put next year's cinema, because um, like Udada is, an amb is going to be an ambassador of different festivals in states in, like that. Ah. So now we're going to, the winning films, everything will be paid for. So you go now there, show people your film, and then you must have something else. That you is network cooking. Work as well. You network, and then you fundraise for your next project. So when when people give money to the trust, so now the trust will confidently say, "We're going to give Isaiah a grant of 100k to make his next to film. make his next film." I'm next not going to fire. give. I'm not going to give you 100k. <laughs> submit a synopsis. Submit a logline. Submit a treatment. Mm -hmm. You have to work for it. Sikupati pesa uendo kanunui hao na mi badun koko na hasol. Like it doesn't make sense. So for me, I don't believe in giving the person the money and then it's not going to help them. Um, you know, Aita was idea kujijenga in that it's line. It's more you want to give the hands-on experience yeah, the like hands -on, yeah. kitu tangible. Yeah, kitu tangible. Okay. Yeah. So inakuwa maybe to me partner na the biggest post-production company in Italy. Because we're already in contact with them, yeah. we're already talking. So, if you munafanya, na kwambia udada, we'll cover your post-production. So, post what will happen? is expensive. It's expensive. So, itakuwa, maybe to cover post-production, budget ya post-production, ni mita ngapi, ni mita, ni mita tatu, sawa. Udada will cover mita moja. Mita moja ina cost nini na nini na nini. Is it bringing those guys and taking you and your director to Italy? So that you can, you know, have, you can yeah. have time to, you know, paying for your monthly income and all these other things. Mm -hmm. Because if I give you money, it doesn't translate to you doing the film. What inspires you? What inspires me? Wow. Eh. Nilisa Mamalu Lisema, it's your dad who inspires you. Apart from your dad, what inspires you? I would honestly say my family. My, 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 again, my dad, as in here, Jawai change. Inspiration, Nini Mu, Lizanga, to what inspires you? Okay, Lizanga, what inspires you to say, my Nini? Life. <laughs> 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 that is life inspires you. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So for me, my dad, my mom, my family inspires me because right from the get go, we were able to get, I was able to get that support and the love from my family. And my dad taught us to me, I don't know. I How are you going to create with whatever you're doing? How do you create? we were taught to create we get so it's it's uh sisemi kuandikwa kazi ni vibaya kuna tu watu wenye nyewe au wataandikwa kazi and that is good for them for some of us ni hard so si tuko watu tuki hustle hapa na pale tukijaribu to bring things together mm. and then also i'm the first born i have uh, forces we are five girls in my family my dad is a principal of a girl school. Girl school. Now I understand Udada Film Festival <laughs> better. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand it. Okay. <laughs> so my sisters, I, I do what I do because of my sisters also. And then also because of, I mean, I really like celebrating young girls. And 
mentoring them and letting them believe that it's possible whatever it is that they want to do it's possible <laughs> the people who what when you want to do kabisa wanajua unaza okay i'm sorry but ati unasema i like uh, celebrating other young girls and you are young so sa unaongea mtu anaweza fikiria i had to look up and say hey, is she 50 sili za mandafanya hivi vitu nikiwa 50 leo mimi sasa hata oscar hata oscar zilikuwa nimesema nitaenda nikiwa 50 ati ndio yani sitakuwa na yani mimi wasema tu 50 yangu ishafika i'm what, living in my 50 what's your life mantra mbona una do hizi vitu why are you doing them apart from the personal cuz clearly you're not doing this for you it's not for you Trust why me, are you doing it them? is not for me so why are you doing already god alishaniambia isi yako so mimi in your church yangu mimi ndo pasiwa hii whatever <laughs> it is that i do <laughs> this is the church i run yeah and i um, i realize that i'm doing this for the next generation i'm doing this i'm just a bridge that's how i tell people the simplest way i can explain is mini bridge so i have i have this thing here that is connecting these people and these people so if i slack then these people will never meet these people, these people yeah. yeah so i i have no option i always have to maintain that bridge no matter what happens okay yeah so for me it's i'm passion driven nani passion yo kweli by the way see passion yenye atikira oh passion will never pay us oh, of course passion will not pay you if you don't think about passion and business do you have to go to school to be a filmmaker um i think if you get if you can get the chance it's important there is kuna tu it 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 adds a bit of value i'm not saying the person who never went to school is, is doesn't have any value but then now you're asking me who went to school and my experience with going to school and in the industry when i combine the two i think i'm better placed speaking for myself but we need to also to understand that mm-hmm. shule is not necessarily the formal structure yeah of course shule is, the, is so I mean, by school here you mean usome wherever you have to read lazima usome mm-hmm. kama ni youtube kama ni of experience course, nini course, so yeah. that's yeah. what you mean ama hiyo ni mimi nasema hapana kibaki sawa so so thank you so much for this um for your time for everything make films ni cast your movie next na kam mm-hmm. and hey, next year ni moto my friend next year narudi production service during kimaliza festival narudi sasa production Good. so guys watch the space another what what is in the making is coming Man. sasa na this time ni sisi sisi mm-hmm. kwa sisi hakuna sisi tulishikana sijui na kina nani kina nani speaking of tulishikana na kina kina nani nimesikia watu wakiteta is what what a kenyan film or a german film no comment I'm here to social media handles <laughs> Zako. <laughs> Sawa. <laughs> What are your social media handles? Um Zango personally, you can call me anytime. It, but anyway, um I don't have any AKA names on Facebook. My name is Matrid Nyaga, so just Google Matrid Nyaga on Facebook, then Patapo. On Instagram is Ma- Ma- Mati, Mari. I f- I have friends who call me Mari. Mm-hmm. So M A R T Y underscore Madrid on Instagram on Twitter Madrid Nyaga but eh Twitter ile ni ile ni shambala mawe K Y O T ni wa baya <laughs> Don't play with those And people. then for But they're cool. Yeah for Udada is Dada Trust K E uh Twitter Dada Trust K E uh Facebook Dada Trust K E Instagram so and uh, dadatrust.org website So just uh, follow us on Facebook. We're going to be updating what we're going to be screening. We'll have an online program so you guys can just plug in from wherever you are. And this time la- round will be live streaming. So come away if you're coming to online, you will be you will join us and you'll be able to see what's going on and what's happening. So so yeah. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you need coupe coupe challenge. Eh. <laughs> Ni venye sina wale maboy wako wapi hao madem? Ndawae kama kando sijali ndawae kama. Wewe uniweke na mimi hapo katikati yao.